Hey, how's it going, everybody? Cuddleson here again with episode. What are we on now? 43? Maybe 42? Um, yeah, I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. What am I, like, the maker of these things? Anyway, now in the last couple of episodes, we have gone through all the levels of the. Of the Soul Arbiter's Maze. In this episode, we're going to finish the Soul Arbiter's Maze and maybe turn in some stone bites. We'll see how much time we got left afterwards. So, let's proceed with level 9 Benediction. In case you are new and wondering why I only have 20 Bowman coins, and that's because I spent 80 of them. We got all 100 already. You know, I don't, I don't know why you'd be new and tuning in on this particular episode. But, uh, you know, the possibility stands, so it's possible. It's possible. And now we get to be defeated many a scarab, and now we get to defeat many an undead scarab. And undead soldiers. You know, my primary nemesis. Which I always love killing with the finishing move. Fuck yeah! That gives me chills. I love it. Alright, so our first set of directions. Not our first set of directions. First, we're going south. Our set of directions to reach the secret of level 9 is pronounced Sween. And that's even a thing. I don't know. It sounds cooler than saying southwest, east, east, north. So we just did the S of Sween. Oh no. Summon stuff. Summoning is your bread and butter, my friend. That is the core of this killer build. Am I right or am I right? Come on, birdies. Do your thing. B move. Come on now. Oh, you're already dead. Screw it. Come on, give me a B move here. Just to uh, put icing on the cake. But of course not. That would be too awesome. Okay. It's cool. It's cool. Now we get to go in the W of Sween. Alrighty. No, whoops. No, you don't. No, you don't. Give me all of my stuff back. Perfect. A B move to finish off. Get all my stuff. All my stuff. All my resources. There we go. Whoops. Our wrath, our health. Do our trifecta. Birds. Ghouls and Aegis guard Aegis guard all right well, that's that now we get to go east for the first time out of two in Sween and my sense of direction still sucks even it sucks even when I'm not tired so that's just who I am can't get rid of that thank God there's the big east markings on it. otherwise I'd be screwed okay summon up the trifecta do some damage. That's the B move to do an awesome kill. Whoa ha ha Is anybody left? Yes, there are. Let's use the birdies to clean them all up. Wonderful. All right, so we did our first east in Sween. Now we're doing our second east in Sween. Boom. 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 And now, ding dong, one of the wicked witches is soon to be dead. Boom. Boom. Come on now. Enough of the scarab shit. What am I going to do with scarabs, huh? Nothing. That's what. Scarabs are worthless. Okay. Start popping more. That's, you need, that's my New Year's resolution. Although, was, you know, half a month. I should have made it half a month ago. It's to hop more. All right. And now the north in Sween to reach our secret area. And guess what? 
It's another chesty chest, which means a skull touch face. I don't know what that was. Skull touch face. I would just skull touch face. There we go. Alrighty. Now back to the grind. All right, let's make it to the tenth floor. Our directions are east, north, east, north, south. Let's do this thing. We can finish it. We can do it. Come on, do some damage. Again, the weakest part of this build is that your weapons do no damage. Boom. Boom. Get out of the way. Shoot the gun. Did we do it? Yes, we did. Wahahaha, <laughs> victory is mine. Now we go east. I thought there's more enemies, but they're just my own ghoulies growling like there was no food coming their way. And next we go north, east, north, south. Like a subway line, you're like coming up in 12 minutes. East. Level East Benediction. Because Benediction is the name of this floor. So I was trying to be clever. I know it didn't really work, but uh, that's what I was going for. Alright, now we go north. No, 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 north. East, north, east, north. So we've got another east in our feature. Build another north. And then a very unique yet peculiar. And quirky south. Boom, 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 boom. Who's left? More prowlers. Not if I can help it. Boom, set the end. B move, there's the end. Alright, so now for our second east. Then we got another north. You know, I I just don't understand what these people are going. You know what these creatures are thinking. You know, like trying the same thing over and over and over again. I'm sure some of them are the same ones. They're undead, and so I'm killing them, and they're just you know being summoned up again. So like. You know, we go all, you know, Far Cry 3 here and go like, what's the definition of insanity? Do the same thing over and over again, expect a different result. Okay, that's, that's, that's old school. You know, that's not unique to Far Cry. I think Far Cry came up with that. You need to read a book, but, you know, I, I don't know why, like, everyone was so wowed by that trailer. Like, I have the game, I enjoy it, and actually I'm considering it making it my, you know, next walkthrough game. After Darksiders 2 is finished with all this DLC. God knows when that's going to be. But uh, now we go north. Yes, we do. And, but like, you know, the performance wasn't great out of Voss, so it's like, what's the definition of insanity? And then they just repeat it again at the end, like, it's okay, I get it. You're right, the guy's insane, and he's talking about the definition of insanity. I get it. You know, but it's, it's, it's trying to be smarter than it is, because it's not. Like, it's, it's, it's kind of cool, but that's all it's got going for it. I mean, it's it's not the cleverest thing on the planet. It's not clever as it thinks it is, as it's acting like it is. Not what everyone else is about it, but like how it actually seems to act itself. And then the whole thing with like the Alice in Wonderland quotes, I mean, and then the dream sequences. That's not really doing it for me, man, you know? But uh, I, what I do love, I think it's one of the best title screens ever. Ever. Because that is subtle. That Rorschach feel and the music that goes along with it and the different faces flashing like that, that's done well. That's subtle. It reflects the tone of the game, the tone of the story, everything. That is smart. Whoever designed that title screen, that's smart. Now the rest of it is just trying too hard. Quoting Alice in Wonderland, as awesome as that is, and I hope to make an Alice in Wonderland sort of thing at some point. Or like of a spinoff, kind of like alternate take on the Alice in Wonderland story, not like 
just shoving the original thing down your throats because it's been so overdone. All right, number one. Number ten. Now we're on to ten. Sweet. But like the quotes in between and then the dream sequences, like, ugh, come on, guys, really? Well, having die Antwerd in a game, in the game, that was an awesome decision. You know, they do a lot of things right. Gameplay's good. Uh, a lot of it's really good. Some of it, not so good. But, I mean, that, that's the key with every game. You know, is it 10 out of 10? No, maybe. I think 8 out of 10, but it's a damn hell of a lot of fun, and that's all that really matters when it comes down to it, I think. No matter what you, what I ultimately think about the story, it's a damn, or the performances of the, of the voice actors, it is a hell of a lot of fun. Well, I guess I gotta say one more thing. One more thing. And that is, I gotta find my friends, guys. I gotta find my friends. Yeah, alright, I'm done. What about my friends? Okay, now I'm actually done. Are you still alive? No, I'm still alive. Oh, I feel like this fight's been going on for a long time. Are we finished? Good. Alright. First direction to our secret is north. Let's go north. Alright, south. Oops, a daisy. Come on now. Come on now. Gotta finish you off. Do the trifecta once again. Oh, is that the end? I think there's some more guys now. Why was that like first fight so much longer? That's weird. Alright, so we got north. Now we get to go south. Luckily, this secret's only four instead of five, like the last three. So it'll be a little bit quicker. Alrighty. Summon the trifecta, go. Burrs, ghoul, shield, go. Go, my minions, and destroy everything in sight. Up, oh, all right. Cool, yep. Now we've gone south. We've gone north and south, and now we go east. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Oh, I don't have enough wrath for it. Oh no! There's the trifecta. All right. Cool. Ouch. Are you dead? Yes, you're dead. Who's still alive? The abomination behind him. Being hidden by the dead body. Now that is sick, man. That is sick. You deserve to be brutally murdered for that thought. And so and so is playing Darksiders 2 now. Good for you, man. Good for you. Alright, so we've gone north, south, and east. Now we get to go west. North, south, east, west. That's a good set of directions right there. And our final secret, a another skull touch face. <laughs> wow, my voice kind of went weird there. Okay, I'll just pretend that didn't happen. I'll just go skull touch face. Boom. All right. And now we got a set of five directions to head to the Soul Arbiter's final little boss room, and that is. West, e I don't have any wrath, so I'll say it in a second once I pull my shit off. Alright, so that set of directions are west, east, north, south, west. You know, you already know that because you've been looking at the screen. Because I put up a screen as soon as we came here. Um, oh, one guy left. Undead General, why are you still alive? It brings me confusion. And Tormentor, come on, dude. 
Really, did you learn nothing from the last five times? Or, I guess, like, eight times I've killed you? Have you learned nothing, sir? And as I completely murder him, the answer is no. He has not learned anything. Okay. And wow, so... The first fight in the floor seems to be the toughest. That's interesting. Alright, trifecta. Oh, giant, be dead. Beautiful. And now we head west for our first of five directions. Oh, oh, you shouting? You trying to scare me? Yeah, not working. Because now you're dead. Boy, that sucks, man. That sucks. Being dead and all, what's that like, huh? I know I'm deaf, but I caused death, but I'm still alive. You are actually dead. Yeah, stop yelling at me. I'll just rip your freaking head off. Mm -hmm. That is the definition of an appropriate response. Now we go east! Through the portal, cuddle stop. What remains? North, south, and west. We're almost there, folks. We almost made it. Alright, come on now. Come on. You move. Dead. Yes. There you go. That's how we do on the south side, motherfuckers! Complete overkill, I think is what I, the real point of that statement. I don't know why I said south side, because I'm technically, I'm from Chicago, I'm a fan of the north side with, you know, all the cubbies, but, uh, yeah, that's not, that's, I don't know why I said south side represent or whatever there. I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery. And that direction was north. So we have south and west remaining. Not enough wrath. Well, I don't care. You're gonna do it anyway. What do you say to that, Mr. Not Enough Wrath? Not a good place for a horse. I think it's the perfect place. I mean, what's a better place to pull out a horse in a small enclosed space that's where acting as an arena? That seems like the most appropriate place to pull out the horse, the ethereal horse, out of nowhere. You know. At least that's what I think, anyway. But that's just one man's humble opinion. Alright, guys, last one. Last one before the bossy boss, the soul arbiter himself. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Cool, cool, cool. Well, that was easy for a final stage with the boss. Nice little cheeky little warm up. Let's do this thing. And some boxes to smash if you so desire. You know, but you know me, I always like smashing me some boxes, so I'm gonna take advantage of every opportunity I get to smash them boxes, even if it's from distance or with a gun. I'm gonna do it anyway. Mm -hmm. Cause like I said, that's just that's just who I am. Mm hmm. Alright. Walking down the spiral staircase that's crumbling everywhere. I can't make up songs cause I'm just not like that I guess. I mean, I don't know. Alright. Teleport further into the maze which means teleport to the boss room. Cause we're already on level 10 essentially. And we have just found the soul arbiter. 
A thousand <laughs> years, the crown is lied. Its true owner passed aside. The kingdom ruled by hate and fear. will regret coming here. Wow, that was a... That was a rhyme, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Let our lackeys do the work. It's not even a fair fight. Not even a fair fight. But he's got his lackeys too, so I guess it balances out. All right, so like I said, I didn't, at the very beginning of this, I didn't practice this beforehand, so I didn't get, I don't recall his particular tactics, but again, if you've been following along and you have super awesome build, you don't need any tactics, man. You can just kick ass. That's just how this build works. The Hellsteel, Rasteel, you know, Necromancer build. If you have the Harbinger build, it doesn't matter. If you have the Hellsteel, Rasteel, you are good, my friend. You are good. Okay, these guys are taking way too long to kill. So let me get back on the Solar Arbiter, please. There we go. Summon the boys. There we go. Go to town, ladies and gentlemen. Go to town. Critical after critical after critical. That's right. Keep going. Uh, see, what a, what a cheap son of a bitch to pull that sort of stunt here against death, the horseman of death, the, the, the pale rider, death, the horseman of death, yeah, that makes sense, horseman of the apocalypse, the pale rider, how dare you pull that pansy shit with me, I'm just insulted. Come on now. Uh, pulling that pansy shit again. Come on, man. It's not cool. And now he's actually attacking me while he's being a pansy. Okay, well, that's just new low for everyone involved. Alright. Get some more wrath. Alright, let's get some more wrath with the potion. The third potion, I think we've used. Fourth potion, total third wrath potion we've used. This whole or This whole marathon. Ghoulies doing your thing. Attacking the Soul Arbiter even though they don't need to. B move. See, I don't really don't feel like using Reperform, although I could. I don't feel like it. Okay. Okay. Fine, then use your damn potions. It's not that hard. See, now I'm just getting irritable. So I should stop recording. Because that's no fun to listen to. Oh, ow. Ow. See, that's not very nice. That's just not very nice. But, uh, nice has nothing to do with it. One, you're dead anyway. Executioner's hooks. The executioner hooks, the executioner's hooks are brutal weapons meant only to deliver a swift and savage end. According to records in the scriptorium, these weapons carried out the sentence for many prisoners who opposed the Charred Council. These hooks strike heavy blows that build upon each other to gorge horrific wounds. 10G, achievement unlocked. 30G, I mean. I've brought you a gift. The Crown of the Dead. The Crown of the Dead previously adorned the brow of the deposed King Argul. The crown was enchanted to provide monetary riches in return for destruction. The crown is infamously responsible for inciting pers pernicious greed thus placing into the thus placing into the hands of the chancellor would be a foolish mistake meaning he went on a quest and he's not gonna do what he told him to do because death's just that kind of guy you know but uh, before you run out of here all excited like let's uh, go down here and get ourselves a very large lootable yummy chest and uh, after we do that, that is it for the Soul Arbiter's Maze. Mm -mm -mm. And smash! Mm -hmm. Wow. It's a hell of a lot of potions. And not the kind I need. Well, that's not very useful. Anyway, 
let's, uh, you know, shimmy back up on those stairs and go back up in that portal. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't feel like fast traveling out of here quite yet. Actually, I don't know if we can, actually. So let's just go in the portal anyway. Okay. Alrighty then, just uh, one last reminder, if you ever need to re-enter the Soul Arbor's Maze for any reason, go get an item you missed, just want to beat some shit up, or or whatever, all you gotta do is go to this book, and as you can see, there's all ten levels completed, uh, except, it says except there, whichever level you want to go to, and then it won't instantly take you there, you gotta go back into the main portal, the one we just came out of, and the one you go into to enter to the Soul Arbor's Maze. And now we are going to teleport to the Eternal Throne so we can tell the Chancellor the bad news that we are not giving him his goddamn crown. Because he's a jerk. That's pretty much the... Is pretty much the oh, come on! That's not very nice. Fast travel thingamajigger. You're supposed to be convenient and not make me walk places that I'm no reason to walk to. You know what I mean? I, I think you do. And something tells me you're not going to let me fast travel now, are you? Hmm, I'm feeling a no. Or a yes. Ha ha ha. Alrighty. The Eternal Throne. Let's go talk to the Chancellor. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Hey, buddy. I have the crown. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Now, hand it over, and the reward is yours. Now, I think this crown will be of more use to me than to you. But, but, your reward? Unless you wish to take it by force. I thought not. Beautiful. XP one a hundred guilt eight thousand. Hmm. Icing on the cake. And let's take a look at our total stats. How close are we to level twenty-two? Damn, it's close. So we will definitely, absolutely, positively gain that experience when we turn in sticks and stones. So that's what we'll do in the next episode. So in the next episode. We will turn in six and stones. Turn in all of our, s turn in all of our stuff. Um, meaning just the, just the all, all the stone bites we still have left, and fight the final boss. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, I'm such an asshole sometimes. All right. Thanks for watching. This has been Cuddle Snot. And I was about to sign off without telling you about the obligatory spreadsheet and Facebook page. But you, you, I don't need to go into that spiel again. So thanks for watching. This has been Cuddlesnot, and I'm signing off. And I will hopefully see you again next time.